Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we are going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vigilante, which has just been released into GTA Online. Now, I'm going to start off with this video. I'm going to apologize to everybody who is a subscriber and a loyal subscriber to my channel because I haven't uploaded a GTA video or a dedicated GTA video for about six weeks. And I know six weeks is a, is a really long time. Um, I'm going to quickly just you know, try and explain why I haven't uploaded in such a long time uh, basically it's because of this DLC this DLC has bored me to tears of GTA uh, the whole smugglers run uh, thing is just uh, bored me it's, I, I don't like the planes um, all the new vehicles are boring Every, all, the, all the missions are repetitive and um, the first couple of vehicles that were released were really good you know the cars I enjoyed them then they started releasing all the planes they weren't that good they were overpriced and planes just don't interest me in general anyway so I thought what better video to bring myself back to my channel with a GTA Online video uh, reviewing the Vigilante and look at it man it is the Batmobile we've got the Batmobile inside of GTA Online now guys and it looks awesome but it is going to cost you 3.7 million dollars to purchase as you can see up in the top right hand corner so it's not cheap not cheap by any means uh, so if we have a little look at it you can see that the front of it is like the uh, the old 80s Batmobile from the Michael Keaton films when he was Batman and you'll see the back rear wheels is much like the uh, Christian Bale era of Batman so they've got like a hybrid of the two Batmobiles which is pretty sweet obviously they can't use exact um, designs should we say uh, for the Batmobile so the way they've done it where they've made two Batmobiles into one so that like I said we've got the old 80s style at the front and at the rear we've got the old we've got the newer version uh, like from the Christian Bale Batman film so it looks fucking awesome so I'm really excited about customizing and reviewing this uh, this vehicle for you guys so what I'm going to do I'm going to get it purchased I'm going to go grab it from my personal garage and then I'm going to get it into the MOC and sort see what sort of customizations we can do to this Batmobile so here we go ladies and gentlemen we are inside of my MOC and we have the Batmobile and I've got to say, man, this looks amazing. And I'm so happy that this is inside of GTA Online. It's going to make me fall in love with the game once again. I'm, I'm pretty darn sure of that. I mean, just look at it, man. It is fucking awesome. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's not very... Um, the armor on it isn't great, so it's not going to take any... I don't, I don't think it takes any RPG shots. So just bear that in mind whilst purchasing this vehicle. It is very very strong in regards to its speed it's obviously it's rocket boosts it's uh, grenade launchers it's well not grenade launchers it's rocket launchers it's machine gun all that sort of stuff i think it's a little bit bulletproof too but if anyone's going to fire an rpg at you or stick you with a sticky bomb yeah say fucking bomb bomb voyage for, for all that sort of shit man because you're going to be history uh so that's the only downside i can think of to this vehicle uh, but other than that the pros out outweigh the cons by a million percent you know so uh, it is pretty sweet and um, I did look in my bunker as well I went into the computer on, in the bunker to see if we had any research for this and there is no research which is another good thing so hopefully everything's going to be unlocked from the get-go and by the looks of the the layout of the categories uh, for customization you might be able to take this into LS Customs as well. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to take this into LS Customs to customise uh, purely because of the categories layout um, on the left hand side there. So it looks pretty similar to what you get into the custom shop. But anyway, without any further ado guys, we're going to get into the customisation of this Batmobile. So we're going to start with the armour as always. We're going to get 100% body armour. Then we're going to get the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the lights, headlights. We're going to get the Xenon headlights. As you can see, we've got a little pop-ups down there. Little pop-up LEDs that look fucking sweet. So we're going to grab them. A neon kit. I'm going to go for one. I'm going to go with a neon kit, man. I'm going to go with the front, back, and sides. And in the neon color, I'm going to make it yellow. Because it's got to be yellow, man. Black and yellow for the Batmobile. So we're going to go bright yellow for the neon glow. So next, we've got the respray. Obviously, you want to keep this black. In my opinion, anyway, it looks at its best when it's black. It looks stealthy, it looks mean, and it looks like the Batmobile. If you put that in any other color, I think it's going to look a little bit funky. So we're going to start with the classic anyway. Look, you, you go... That looks fucking awesome though. I love the classic black. I might go with that. Uh, it kind of goes like a uh, a black chromey colour. It looks really good. But maybe that's just the colour of what it looks like inside the MOC. So we'll see what the colour changes when it gets outside. Because it always looks a little bit different on the inside. Uh, and then when you take it out of the 
MOC or out of LS Customs or out of Benny's, the paintwork always looks a little bit different. But see what I'm saying with different colours, I don't think it really suits it. I think it looks a bit strange. White is a definite no-no, man. That looks disgusting. Purple actually looks pretty cool. You thought I'd do like a, a joker a joker mobile. <laughs> so if you want a joker mobile, you could have a purple with a green underglow. I think that'd look pretty sweet. But we're gonna stick with the traditional Batmobile uh, in black. So we're gonna go classic. We're gonna grab the classic classic? The classic black for the paintwork. That looks pretty awesome. So you do get the option to add a crew emblem, which is pretty sweet. So if you do have the Batman logo uh, as your crew emblem, that would look pretty cool on there if you wanted to add that. I haven't got a crew, I'm not part of a crew on this account, so I can't show you whereabouts it it, it is um, added onto the vehicle. So I'm, but I'm guessing it's going to be on the door side. Uh, so if you had a Batman logo as your emblem, it would look really good if you uh, whacked that on the side. So next we're going to go down to the suspension. You want to grab, well, you don't have to, but I'm going to go for the race suspension because I think that's probably the best. We've got to lower this down to the ground. Then I'm going to get the race transmission and then we're going to get the turbo tuner. So now we move on to the big boys category, which is the weapons. So at the moment you can see we've got no missiles, so we are going to grab their missiles. You see them added down to the bottom. I'm not 100% sure uh, what his capacity is. I think it's around 25 to 30 missiles uh, per per load. So once you run out of the missiles, I think you just take it back to your garage, drive it in, drive it back out again, and then your missiles will replenish, and then you can have 25 to 30 more shots with their missiles. Um, so they don't last forever, but if you do run out, take it into your garage, come out again and then you've got a full full stock worth of of missiles to shoot at, at motherfuckers all over again if you want to but anyway guys that is was one hundred eighty thousand dollars for the missiles it's not that bad you know and it makes your batmobile a lot lot stronger so then we've got a wheel option uh, yeah i was gonna say surely you can't change the wheels on this because you can't oh, i can't spin around that far but the wheels at the back are monstrous and if you had anything other than them wheels i think it would look a bit silly but we do have the tires we get the tire enhancements but the bulletproof tires are already chosen for us and the tire smoke not a fan of tire smoke so i'm going to leave that as stock so then last but not least ladies and gentlemen we're going to the windows and we are going to get not the light smoke not the dark smoke but we're going to get the limo tint on this motherfucker because that looks mean as hell so we're going to go with the limo tint for the windows and that is it so now we're outside of the MOC, we're going to see what the performance is like on this Vigilante. And as you can see, man, this vehicle looks the bomb. It looks amazing. From the rear, like I said at the beginning, it is a hybrid of two different types of Batmobile, in my opinion. We've got the front, which is like the Michael Keaton 80s era. And then we've got the uh, Christian Bale area, era, area, <laughs> era at the back with the uh, more modern day Batmobile uh, that we see in all the Christian Bale Batmobile and um, Batman films. Fuck me, man. I forgot how to speak. But anyway, we're going to carry on. We're going to have a little drive and I'm going to hit these rocket boosts. Look at that. Just flying across the road. Oh, my God. This cut. Whoa. They were doing backflips and all sorts and it's landed on his wheels. It's just crazy. They, this is a, a crazy vehicle. Uh, I haven't really done much with it except for hit the rocket boost once. Done a backflip and it's uh, already got me excited. But you can see that... I think the uh, the classic black on this actually looks a lot better than the matte black in my opinion. Especially with that yellow underglow as well that, that kind of uh, finishes it off a little bit. We're going to try and get onto the road. I want to ram into some vehicles and see um, what's, what its capability is in in, the, in regards to uh, pushing them out of the way, shall we say. So, um, fuck me, this is fast as well. We're just got, yeah, look at that. With ease, it's just pushing these cars out of the way. Any, go on, get out of my way. Go on, get out. Yes. Here we go, and we've got the machine guns, we're going to change that to the missile, we got... Oh, they are homing, they are homing missiles. There we go, we've got the homing missiles, which is sweet, and we can also turn the homing missiles off as well, but that's only going to lock onto enemies, it's not going to lock onto just random drivers in the street, uh, which is good, because you don't want your fucking, your homing missiles going, beep, 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 beep. every time you're driving up the road, that would be uh, very irritating. So, um, just driving down is very fast. We hit the rocket boosts, it's even faster, but the rocket boosts don't last very long, but it recharges very, very quickly. You see, you you hit the rocket, was it lasts about three seconds, but then it takes two seconds to recharge, so you can hit this countless amounts of times, man, which is fucking awesome. So as we come around here, I'm going to just hit the missiles in a moment and see how they fire out, because we have issues, especially with the Ruiner 2000, where the rockets, when you shoot the rockets or the missiles, they, they come straight out of the front, 
and they hit the ground and they blow you up and um, you know I can't see this being any difference but we're gonna we're gonna have a little go anyway and I forgot how to shoot rockets there we go uh, didn't seem to go towards the ground which is pretty cool yeah that all that was a bit close to the ground but they look good they don't seem to be shooting right into the ground which is nice because uh, that was a big issue with the Ruiner 2000 where you'd shoot your missiles and it would just shoot, shoot straight into the into the road and then you'd end up committing suicide but they seem quite high it seemed to rise that one which was nice but anyway man th this vehicle uh, it, there's not much you can really say about it everything it just it's just driving it now it speaks volumes just looking at it it speaks volumes like I said the only downside to this vehicle is that there's no um, RPG resistance none at all and I'm gonna prove it to you right now so we're gonna stop look at them suicide doors yeah with the scissor doors whatever you'd like to call them but we're gonna put a sticky bomb on my Batmobile just like that. We'll go. Oh, it wasn't a sticky bomb. <laughs> that was a proxy mine. So, same thing. <laughs> That's a proxy mine. They got the same sort of explosive uh, capacity, and one shot, boom, gone. No more Batmobile. It is now a flaming wreck. So, uh, other than everything that comes with this vehicle, the speed, the rocket boost, the missiles, the home of missiles. Uh, the looks alone man it looks amazing the price is actually really good for the type of vehicle that it is because if you have in mind the Ruiner 2000 is a lot more expensive than this as well um, but now man we've got the we've got kit Knight Rider and we've got the Batmobile in GTA and it is this is just crazy GTA is just a crazy crazy game and it's, it's just a, it's gonna get crazy it's got to win it but anyway guys I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end the video there um, I'm happy to be back I'm going to try and make as many videos as possible in the future because, like I said, six weeks is a long time. And I, I, I want to make videos, man. It was just this game with the new DLC, the, the Smugglers 1 DLC. It just, I don't know, I just weren't feeling it. It just made me fall out of love with GTA a little bit. But now they're bringing the Batmobile in. We're getting close to the end of the Smugglers run now. Hopefully, uh, we get a new DLC very soon and it's going to be a lot better than you know the, what we've what we've had um, previously because like I said this smugglers run is, is sort of like it's ground me down uh, in GTA and I, I just haven't enjoyed it much so that's, I haven't been playing it either so I haven't been playing GTA it's not like I've been playing GTA but just not making any videos I literally just the GTA hasn't been inside my console for the last two months uh, not two months sorry month and a half to two months um, so yes yeah, you know it's not been a great time for GTA for me personally but I'm back. The Vigilante is in GTA. I'm really happy that it's in GTA. And I'm going to be trying to make videos for you guys as much as possible. Because, you know, I love to do that. I love to make videos. I love to hear your feedback. I love your comments. I love all the likes that you leave. I love seeing my subscribe count go up and up and up every day. Even though I haven't been making videos for the last few weeks, my subscribe count has still been going up very slowly but it's still been going up, so it's all positives around here. So I'd like to thank everybody for that. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash a motherfucking like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.